Hello everyone, this is Vlada from Vlada's Place and in this video I wanted to share a quick update on our bee adventure we started about two years ago. This has been a most interesting process and I have learned a lot but I'm really excited to say that now we are able to adopt a lot more bees and this year we were refurbishing a bunch of old beehives painting, fixing, reinforcing, just to make sure that we can adopt a lot more. This colony got to move into a brand new house today. Well, actually it was refurbished. So we got it all cleaned up, painted, and I was able to move the bees in and I think they love it. We also got a new base for them and it's uh, towards the end of the day and I am absolutely spent. Everything hurts, but I feel good and I feel very accomplished to do something and to see the results of your work. This year was particularly good for California because we got a lot of rainfall. And with that, we had a super bloom, which was great for bees. Ever since late January, there were flowers everywhere and we are in May right now. So the bloom is still out there and bees are working overtime. It's been most rewarding to watch how quickly these colonies can bounce back if we help them just a little bit. Most of these colonies arrive to us without any comb, any brood or any honey. So we had to start from scratch, but with just a little attention, colonies are thriving now. I want to use this opportunity to thank our friend Marilyn who donated funds to help us purchase additional beehives. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Our bees have gathered a lot of honey, but we have decided not to harvest honey like most beekeepers do. Instead, we're gonna allow bees to enjoy this honey so they can stay healthy, uh, multiply, and hopefully this will help us release a lot more bees into wild. The deal is I am gonna take a one frame out of each box, which is only a 10% out of everything the bees will make in a year. And this will be my little sweet reward for all the care that I provide to bees. I felt incredibly blessed to have something like this in my life. Uh, I, while we were cutting this comb, I was uh, saying words of thanks to little bees, God, nature, and uh, everything that allows me to enjoy such an amazing uh, thing in my life. This truly is one of the little miracles in nature. Before tasting it, I was telling my kids uh, that we should take a moment just to acknowledge how many bees had to work for us to take a bite and how many of them have lived and died uh, just to create this comb alone. The point of us starting a beekeeping is to help bees. That's a primary goal. But after that, um, my next goal is to encourage more families to try to do something like this, not only for the sake of bees, but also for the sake of your children. This is a phenomenal hobby. And if you're looking for pets for your kids, this can be that perfect pet. I know it sounds crazy because we think about bees as aggressors and they can sting our kids and such, but you know, with little training, your kids can become expert beekeepers very early in their life. In any case, I hope what we're doing will encourage you. And if you guys have any questions about beekeeping, leave the comments below because we would love to help.